hello there it's so good of you to come and spend a little bit of time with me today it's great to have you along my name is Belinda this is Visualized NZ and today I am going to work in this vintage pink journal I'm using digitals the digital kit vintage pink from Rachel and Bella crafts and it's it's been a wee while since I've worked in this journal and I haven't done a lot in it since I last uh, showed it on camera I've put book corners on just a little thing but I think it really adds a beautiful touch um, oh, and on this diary page that I've used in the signature I've gone ahead and collaged over the the dates because they're unlikely to be the dates that the person using the journal you know they won't be the right dates um, so I like to just collage over them with a little something decorative so I've done that um, added a little closure for our centre envelope here. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to put in here. If I've got anything left over once I've finished the journal, I will put it in here. If not, then I'll put some coffee dyed paper. Um, so I just did that little closure there. Um, I've placed out a few pockets where I want them, but largely there's no pockets in here, mostly mostly nothing so i need to do a lot of work to you know to get it to get it up and running and where i want to start is with this beautiful illustration out of a huge book um it does actually almost fit on a page almost um and i don't you know i don't want to like fold it in half or anything I probably will have to lose um, maybe the tips of the leaves and maybe the bottom of the stem. But what I want to do is I want to make a big giant pocket, a, a whole page pocket if you like, that will take up pretty much all of the page. Because I think this is, you know, this is pretty. It's out of a New Zealand book. Um, illustrations of New Zealand plants and flowers and stuff. So I think I'll make a... Um, now, do I want to do like a library style and just join them at the back? No, it's not going to be wide enough, I don't think. I think I'm just going to do a gusseted pocket. So I'm just going to arbitrarily tear it about here. And then um, just, just winging it. I'm really not sure. I've been procrastinating something chronic today. I don't know what it is. Um, I just felt a bit stuck. Which is weird because lately I've been fire firing on all cylinders and I've been feeling really creative, very inspired. And then today I just, like I knew I wanted to work in this journal. But I, maybe I was just tired and... I, I just couldn't find my think my way through what I even wanted to do or what I was trying to do. Um, so, I've, yeah, I've been really procrastinating today, wanting to do this, but somehow just struggling to get to it. Um, so it is now almost half past two in the afternoon. I normally record in the morning. So that might give you an indication of kind of how my day's been. I am going to lose this image, but, you know, you can't keep them all. You've got to make a choice, don't we, on these double-sided things. And the book's not old enough for me to scan. It's, I'm trying to remember the date. Um, I'm not going to say because it would just be a stab in the dark. I have looked at the date previously, but I can't remember it. Um, but it's certainly not old enough, you know, it's not out of copyright, nowhere near out of copyright. So I'm going to do some gussets for this. So let's try and get as much of it on the page as possible. So I reckon about there, so I will lose the, the tips on these sides. I'm going to bring it in about there and about there. Okay, that's where I'm going to try and fold it. It's 
So how are you today? Are you having a great day? I hope you are feeling inspired today. And I hate to say that because it's not like I've been uninspired really. It's just, I don't know, I just struggled today. And I think it really is just tired. A um, couple of not so great nights sleep this week. And last night wasn't too, too bad. But I woke up this morning with, I could barely move. I was in such pain that it, I had to really just slowly will myself to roll over so I could get out of bed because I just hurt, which is not fun. Now that is not straight. I am sure that is nowhere near straight. Um, so yeah, so I just... Yeah, tiredness, and then look at that. That is so far off. That's ridiculous. Okay, scoreboard. Come on, scoreboard. Let's do this so it has a hope of being straight. <laughs> yeah, so that's. I think that's been my issue today, actually. Just that. Uh, where did I, I buried my little tool and we're going there gosh that is hugely off at the top end here where it's off the most it's it's like a sixteenth of an inch off like that's huge I don't know it's just super talented isn't it to get it that far off um, so let's do this one while we're here <laughs> and that goes in that groove Look at that, that lines up nicely for me. Oh, we're only just going to lose the tip of those leaves. Just. Right, let's see how that works. But I enjoy bringing you a video and I'm really happy to be recording now and I can already sort of start to feel myself get into rhythm. Um, but it's only the beginning of the video, so we'll see how it goes. Now I've got to try and fold this along the correct line because it wants to just fold where I've already creased it. But we can just gently force it until it comes into line. Whoops. Hopefully. think that's oops come on play nice um yeah so I can feel myself starting to kind of feel in the swing of things okay how are we looking Just, okay so I'm happy with the width it looks much much straighter now yay so now I need to deal with the height um so it looks like I am going to lose the tops top of that leaf maybe um, again I think I'm going to use the scoreboard just because I seem to not be able to do things straight today I'm doing the scoreboard at a really weird angle just because I haven't got room on my desk um, I need to flip it over this way really and I am going to go down here down that far I think more than what I probably need to um, but I don't want the pocket right at the top of the page I want you know some space for the the journal card to poke out of so taking it down just a little bit more perhaps than I need to so let's see how that goes just folding in everything just so I can gauge it before I make any cutting so if I put that right down the bottom of the page yep we've got room at the top here for sliding a journal card in and out and I think that's going to be really pretty so I'll decorate it up maybe a label that sort of thing a word but other than that I think this is just beautiful as is Right, so now I'm going to cut out these corners. 
get rid of that bulk so I'm going to angle in towards that the, where the two crease lines meet Oops. trying to hold on to that little bit so take out that corner and the same on the other side and this is my last video to record for this week so that's that's good I fit the recording of six videos within five days so it's, it's quite a quite a lot now yes I do want to take those corners out the top ones as well and I like to leave the top on and fold it down just to reinforce the top of that pocket this is quite thick paper so probably would be fine if I didn't um, but I'm going to leave that top bit on anyway and just glue it down because it's there and I can and that's what I would normally do just to, to give that nice strength there so when you're putting your journal card in it's not going to tear or pull okay so first off I'm going to glue down this flap here I think I need to change my glue page it's looking I can see all the glue on it so let's just change that bye bye beautiful flowers you're going to be hidden inside the pocket we will know you're there though and you can decorate the the uh, give the journal card something pretty to look at The other thing is it was quite mm, not super cold this morning but cold enough that hubby lit the fire and I've been just keeping it ticking over and then about half an hour ago it was like I am so hot I am sweltering and I'd already ditched my hoodie and then like half an hour ago I went and took off my singlet um, which is a polar fleece singlet so you know quite toasty I'm feeling a little bit more put together now because I'm feeling a little cooler and <laughs> my brain I think is starting to work a bit um, because I don't know brain doesn't work quite so well when you're a bit hot right those are angled nicely yep so I'm just gonna pop this oh no I'm not hold the phone hold the phone it's not time yet we want to do a little thumb notch for a start were you, were you yelling at me? Calling out to me? I'm sure you were, my friends. You're good like that, letting me know when I'm about to make a big mistake. Right, because of course I want to ink this. You know, give it a little bit of that vintage vibe with my vintage photo distress ink. So I... I'm not going to worry today about what I'm going to put in these pockets. I'm just going to get some pockets down um, because I think that's a good place to start to get this journal pulled together is pockets and tuck spots and all that sort of good stuff. Okay, just a few crumbs there. Right, now I can glue. We're all good to go. Right. Um short on space today and I feel like I'm sitting way back so I'm just going to put my back of my chair up so I'm not tempted to lie back in my chair and be completely off camera for the entirety of the video so believe me that can happen quite easily so put it up nice and straight So most of the cats are outside because it's such a beautiful day outside. Whoops, did I get glue on that? No, it's all good. Um, stunning, stunning spring day. It's so warm. It's sunny. It's quite windy. Um, the Norwest has kicked in again, which is why I ended up going, I'm so hot. Um, Snuggles has just come back inside. She's been out most of the day. Normally she's inside all day, but she's been out most of the day. And Puss has just been in and for a late lunch. It is midday top up for an old boy. 
keep them around as long as we can. Right, there we go. A nice big, big pocket. Isn't that lovely? Just beautiful illustration. And it can be hard to use those big pages out of beautiful books. You know, what do you do with them? So, and there's, there are a lot you can do, but sometimes it's like how to compose it so it's not, you don't lose too much or lose what you want. But I think this is a, a good answer. So I do think I want to decorate it up a little bit. I've got these little vintage bits of, they're not vintage, they're just vintage reproductions. Little bits of paper here. Just wondering if one of those might be. Again, I'm gonna they might be a bit big. I'm gonna struggle to cover things over. It's kind of not really the right look I'm going for. There's a bit of text here. Oh, what about this lady? We could lose some of the leaves, couldn't we? Because really it's the flowers and we still get leaves. We could pop her up here. And then what else would we like with her? Just pop these away so they don't end up on the floor. Which is highly likely. Um, so I'm going to look at what's in the kit. Just pull a bunch towards me. Um, I've got all these little butterflies which are so cute. Some words and bits and pieces. I'm thinking maybe something with colour, so maybe a butterfly. Could go a butterfly. We've got a little heart. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Do like that. Um, do I want to layer anything else up? What about a word a sweet delight here we could oh yes that's it right okay let's sync it up oops a bit dry on the old sponge oops i'm just going to do this off to the side so i don't cover this lovely image in sponge crumbs Now, if you didn't like the white around it, you could um, distress it, run over it with, lightly with some ink, or you could stencil it. Um, the white doesn't bother me. I do have white pages in this journal, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I'm just going to tacky glue this down, just because I feel like I haven't got a lot of room right now. I've got all the bits of the kit from the vintage pink kit spread out above me at the top of my desk so I can kind of look through and grab out bits and pieces and in between that and the glue book and the my glue pages and the camera stand and light um, it's not enough not enough room usual story right that where's my other piece gone hello there it is. Again, I'm going to do it off to the side. Sorry. So I hope you've all had a great week. I'm pretty sure I've asked you about your day. Hopefully it's also been a fantastic week. I've had a pretty good week, actually. It's been quite a productive week. Um, I think that's the other problem, too, as I got today. And it's like I've been go, go, go all week. And suddenly I'm like... Running out of steam and combined with uh, not sleeping well. I'm just like getting getting a bit low on energy and oomph, shall we say. If you have any spare oomph, um, would you mind sending along some of that to me to get me through the rest of the week? That would be much appreciated. But I do think um, I've got the option tomorrow friday of going out and spending the day out or staying home and as much as it would be lovely to go out and see some people i'm also thinking it would be lovely to stay home and do some computer work 
um, which means I could focus the whole day on computer work. And that's also a change of scene, like, you know, I do bits during the day here and there, but I don't sort of have a solid day at the computer normally. So I'm quite excited by the prospect of having a whole day where I can start working on a new digital or something like that. I've also got work to do on the newsletter for next month. Um, you know, I've got, I've got lots to do. There's plenty I can do. And I just realised yesterday I haven't done my tax return. I got an extension. And they extended it till December when I have to put it in. And we're now in September and I still have not done it. And it was due back, oh, April? No, June. June or July it was due. Um, yeah, June or July it was due. And September now I still haven't done it. And I need to get it because I won't get another extension. Oh gosh, so there's that. But that's boring. Like taxes so so boring I hate it and I don't have an accountant or anything I do it all myself so it's just like it's just so boring but I have to do it right so that's that pocket did I have anything earmarked further back here not yet okay so let's go to these where I've popped other pockets in to deal with so it looks like this is the first one so these are wee triangle pockets as part of the kit and I thought they would be really cute on these diary pages just break up a bit of the white um, super fun now I've only printed these on well it's not photocopy paper it's slightly heavier but I still like to reinforce them now if I was smart when I was cutting them out I would have left enough of the, the white paper to fold it over and do it but I get carried away, I'm cutting, I'm focusing on the lines and doing the lines. So I didn't, but I keep all my offcuts. So I just grab one of the white offcuts and glue it in place. Easy as, and it just adds that little bit of reinforcement. Um, so a tip is don't throw away your, your offcuts, even if they're white. Um, because you can use them to reinforce the top of pockets. Right, so I don't want to get glue, you know, a heap of glue everywhere. So I'm just going to loosely trim. So I'm not gluing those bits. I will still have glue bits to trim off, but not quite so much. Okay, so in with the glue stick. And reinforce the top of that pocket. Oops, didn't get very good coverage along there. That's better. Make sure we're doing the right edge. I mean, I can't see. I need to turn it towards me. Oh, my fingers are so sticky. Part of the reason why I often resort to my tacky glue. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's one of those days, people. Join me for this crazy ride. Getting towards the end of the week at a rapid pace. And just losing the plot along the way. Even Snuggles is sitting up in her box looking at me going, Are you alright, Mummy? You're making weird noises. It's like, Yeah, no, I'm okay, darling. Oh, I'm okay. I'm just getting a little cray cray. It's the wind. I'll blame it on the wind. The northwest wind. It's the barometric pressure. It's making me crazy. It's also making me hot. <laughs> Uh, what's the weather doing at your place today? Are you in fall or are you in spring? Or maybe you're located somewhere where you don't have any uh, defined seasons, so to speak. You know, some places don't. They, their seasons aren't what we would say here in New Zealand. where We have quite distinct seasons. Um, I do love the changes. Right. Okay, let's pop that down. 
So I'm holding it where I don't want to glue, so we don't accidentally glue our pocket shut. Yep, I'm I'm in the kind of mood today where I could easily do that. And then we just have a decorative corner on our pocket page instead of a pocket. That would so be something I could do today. Right, let's pop it down right down there. And this is very handy too because it's got like a little branding thing in the corner down here. And it covers that up. It's still on the other side of the page down the bottom here, but that's okay. This one I also put a butterfly down this corner just because I wanted to. I like, there's a lot of these butterflies in the kit. There's a whole page of them in different sizes. And I think it's really cool to bring cohesion to your journal to sprinkle them throughout. Um, they also appear on some of the ephemera and pages. So it just gives that sense of, of cohesion for your whole journal, which I think is a really lovely idea. Right, so let's flip over to the other side and do the same over here with this one. Really cute. See again, here's the, the wee butterfly. Uh, need another strip. Oops, that one's not long enough. Let's see if we can find one. Is that one long enough? Nope. Ah, there we go. And that one's too long. That's fine. We can trim it down. Go. Right. There's enough there for another one someday. Oops! Throwing the glue stick around. So I haven't got a lot to tell you really. Um, let's. Oops! I just. I just got glue all up under my thumbnail. How does one even manage that? Tell you what, I'm full of special skills today. Special skills. Um, have I got any stories to tell you? Oops, I better put the lid on my glue, otherwise it's going to gunk up on me. Um, if it hasn't already. Stories. Well, I've cooked three meals, three evening meals this week and tonight hubby's cooking so I'm quite excited about that so I can I don't know, keep crafting or relax or something so looking forward to that because I've that's the first time I've cooked three meals in a row um, since I had my surgery back in June and I don't mind at all, don't mind, but I'm quite looking forward to having a night off by the same token. I don't know what he's going to make. Be something really easy because, you know, he works hard out at his work and he'll be tired, especially getting towards the end of the week. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It'll be something maybe he'll air fry some fish bites or... Maybe he'll chuck some chicken drumsticks in the oven and leave those for an hour and do some veggie with them. Don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, I'm feeling hungry too. Like talking about food and I'm feeling hungry. Right, and this butterfly, I also put some of the butterflies at the top here. So that brings those together as well. Okay. Let's pop it down. I don't know if I'm going to add anything to these pockets or not. Um, I think they're very pretty as they are. I can always come back and add little bits if I decide. Nah, I just want to, you know, put my own spin on it. Add a word or something. I can always do that. But just getting the pockets down is my priority, I think, it's today get them made up where I need to make them or glued in if they're ready to go so like that is so pretty it's got this little lace bit alongside it's got the flower stamp stamp postage mark and a butterfly like it's as pretty as it is right 
Okay, this page. Uh, so this is a bit of like stone fleck type paper. It's quite thick. And I've stamped it on one side with numbers in a pale pink. And I have these pieces. There's a number of these pieces as part of the ephemera for the kit. Um, really lovely. They've got a word on them. They're little squares with rounded corners. Super pretty. Um, here's another one. Patience. Um, not sure if I've grabbed them all out or not. Anyway, you get the idea. They're, they're really lovely. Actually, they probably have because six makes sense. Um... So what I thought I would do with these is make a pair of pockets that stack on the page. I thought that would be super cool. A, a really fun way to use them. So I'm going to, again, back the top of them. So where's that strip I had? That's long enough for that one. That's long enough for that one. Good. And that's a bit curly, so I'm going to trim off that bit that's curly. So I'm not having to grapple with that. Just trim that down a little bit. And trim this one up a little bit. Come on, up the gum. There we go. Let's glue these both down. Now this is something, these wee cards, because likely um, they're intended and I would have thought to use them as journal cards because they are super sweet little journal cards. But I want to use them as pockets, so I never would have left the white on when I was cutting them out because I wouldn't have seen them as pockets. I wouldn't have thought of them as pockets when I was cutting. So definitely these would have needed me to reinforce them i'm just gonna give it a little press in there make sure it sticks nicely and then this one oops oh, gouging out my glue today whether it's on my my thumbnail mm -hmm. special skill there um or on the edge of the paper which is more normal you know gouge it out on the edge it's got a slight black line on it where I've trimmed it off whatever piece I was cutting out. So I'm going to put that at the bottom so it doesn't show at the top of my pocket. And I need to scrape off that glue that I got across the back. And I think maybe a little bit of a wipe. Just find a cleanish area. Not that it matters because it's the inside of the pocket. It's not going to be seen. Just... Glue. Ugh. Um, so we don't end up with our pocket glued shut. Right. So leave that one to dry. I'll give it a little press down now that I've cleaned the glue off. There we go. Trim up this one. It's got little rounded corners, so follow the curve. I am finding the, these, um, or should I say this kit, actually very soothing. The colour palette is so gentle, so soft, very pretty, that I find it incredibly calming and peaceful to work with. It's just really lovely. And it's also a great partner for a lot of other kits. Um, from Rachel and Bella Crafts, it goes really lovely with Shades of Spring. And with Nana's Roses. So if you've got either of those kits and you want to just add some, you know, different elements or something to mix in with it, then I can recommend the Vintage Pink kit. It's just really lovely. Okay, so I think I don't want to lose the bird's tail, so I'm going to put the bird down the bottom. I do want to punch 
the thumb notch out. Actually, I might do them both together. Then they'll be the same. Not that it will matter, because they're going to be offset, but, you know, it's just one of those details that's going to make me happy that they're both in exactly the same place. Right. Let's try and line it up. About middle. Oh, it was a bit tough to get through all those layers, but we got there. Yes, nice. Okay, inking time. And again, I think these are really pretty just as they are. Um, they've got a word on already. So I may come back and add something. I may not. I just think they're really lovely. And there's other things I can decorate up that do need decorating. So again, inking just off camera so I'm not getting sponge crumbs all over my journal. So I haven't really told you any stories, have I? Apart from hubby cooking tea tonight. Um... We're watching a program on TV. It's a Brit. I think it's British. I think. Um, what's it called? Ah, the name's escaping me. Um, I want to say it begins with R. Um, it's it's a little bit on the gruesome side. Um, occasionally. It's not totally, but every now and then there's a scene like, oh, that's a bit icky. Um, like one this morning we were watching it while we had breakfast this morning. And the one of the characters has been infected by something. And so she's a bit psychotic. It's altered her. And she went and cut her mum, mother's stomach open with a fork and vomited into her stomach, you know, into her mum's abdomen. And it's like, yeah, that was that was that was pretty gross. That was pretty extreme. I mean, they didn't show it all, but you knew what was going on, and there was, of course, blood everywhere. And um, I had, of course, my head down looking at something else. So I, I'm guessing they didn't show it all. Um, they may have. I think I was just concentrating on my breakfast at that point <laughs> but it is actually really intriguing it's kind of part sci-fi part um crime drama and it's from what we can tell they you know they're just drip feeding little clues here and there from what i can tell it's a an animal was dug up out of the ice because it's a place where it's, you know, it's always frozen and it was dug up out of the ice and there's some contaminant in the thing that was dug up that's now begun infecting people. So that's that's kind of the gist of it. Um, so it's, it's very intriguing. It's quite compelling, but there are some mucky bits and I just can't think of the name of it. It's completely escaped me. Um, it's on Neon. Oh, gosh. I might have to put it in the description box what the name of it is. You're probably not interested. It's probably not your thing. Um, but in case it is, I will look up the name and put it in the description box. Okay, so we've got two pockets there. I love that. I think that looks really cool. This is a tag from the kit, which is too big. Uh, it's too wide, but, you know, you can imagine a couple of bits and bits and bobs or whatever. This is another little bit in the kit that you know a couple of little journal cards or something or maybe a tag in this one and a journal card in this one just gonna look really cute okay did I have anything else targeted how are we doing on time okay we're not doing too bad on time but I don't believe ah Okay, there is this page. We could do with this deal with this page. So this is like math paper out of a um, school exercise book. And on each side, there is a flap that flips open. 
So I'm thinking on one side I would turn it into like a side pocket. And on one I'd leave it as an openable flap. So um, this one I think is wider. The flap's wider. And this one is narrower. So I think this one would be the side pocket. Because it leaves more writing space here and more room to, to get something in. This is very thin paper, so again I need to reinforce the edge of this um, because it would be in danger of ripping. But I probably want to cover it. So I've got a couple of spare pages here from the kit, buried under everything. Let's try and grab them out. So yeah, height's good. So what would we like to use? This one got damaged in my case. It got caught in the closure. So it's a bit a bit damaged, but that's okay. Makes it great for collage. Um, okay, we do have birds here. So I'm thinking the bird, if we were going to use the bird, the bird at the other end would be good. So maybe we want a bit of this lovely floral okay let me just tear off the white even though this bit's the damaged end i'm going to go with it and just perhaps make it a feature maybe we'll do a bit more damage and really play on it oops i did not hold that well enough because I was too busy talking. Let's go again. That's better. Oops. I just flicked a piece of ephemera into the side tray on my desk. That was clever. I bet I couldn't do that again if I was trying to do it. Just caught it with my ruler and it flipped up and straight into the little side tray. Oops, that's probably enough. We don't need to tear off the whole thing right now. And, oh, I wonder if I can tear this away from me with success. I have my doubts. Oh, not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Okay, and how wide? Now I could actually wrap it around a little bit. Do we want to do that? Give it a little bit of an edge. I do want to put lace and stuff on here. I think I'm going to make it wider for a start. Oops, get rid of those scraps. Um, and then decide which way I want to go. So let's go... About that red line there, I think. It's handy when there's elements on the paper that help you choose about where you want to go. I can still put lace over top, so I can still wrap it round, can I? Oh my gosh, I'm fighting with everything around me. It's I'm just I'm just gonna have to move it away out of my elbow space where I keep knocking it and spreading it onto the floor and everywhere right okay so I we've got this damage here and I want to play up that a bit more so I'm going to do some on the bottom as well it's funny I wouldn't have thought of doing this um, actually if it wasn't already damaged And then maybe we'll put a little fold in there so it sort of folds up on itself like that. And there's a little corner off there. So let's, and on the actual printable, there's a little missing corner. So let's actually just tear that off.
yep that's fun i do want i think to glue that in place that little fold that i just made oops and a little bit under there and get rid of the excess glue <laughs> Okay, and let's fold it around. I'm trying to work out how to do this. Definitely not a tutorial. I'm just trying to. Okay, like that. It looks like it's slightly too tall for the page. Yep, it definitely is too tall. So I need to take it down just a little bit more. I'd rather have it slightly too short, I think. Because I can ink the edge of the page. Okay, that's not too bad it's still slightly tall in some areas but I think by and large it will be okay okay let's ink it up it's like it's been oops there go the crumbs uh, like it's been chewed by something So I'll probably end up putting lace on one side or the other as well, or a ruffle or something. I haven't decided actually whether I'll go ra race, <laughs> lace or ruffles or combination. Give it some nice vintagey colour there. And I think I'm going to use tacky glue for this. So, first I'm going to give, give that a really good crease. Which is going to help me to line it up on the page. And I also am going to ink down that crease line. Get this on and then this is probably as far as what we'll get for this video so I'm just going to do one side at a time so I don't end up getting it uh, completely crooked and unable to shift it that would fall into my special skills for the day wouldn't it yep totally on the cards Right, slide that in, try and get it straight, oh gosh, I'm making a real mission out of this. Okay, it's on, right, flip it over. Glue this side down and using the tacky glue means it's not going to um, curl so much as it would with glue stick and this is all it needs really it doesn't need to be completely covered in glue I will take a thumb notch out of it most likely so I'm just making sure there's enough to hold it together where I take a thumb notch out uh, actually or will I not sure but just in case we do yeah so I'm also going to just give that white edge a little 
bit of ink. Just kind of make it blend into that piece. And we've got a little bit hanging over at the bottom, which is fine. Just hit that with a little bit of ink as well. Get rid of crumbs. Do we want a thumb notch? Or do we even want to make that into like two side tucks? Like if we glued in the middle and have two smaller. Let's do that for a change. You've convinced me. So I'm not going to put. Or do I want to put two thumb notches? Let's do that because I think that's, you know, we're just going down the different path. So let's run with it. Um, so I'm probably not going to be able to get these centered because I don't know where this, the line's going to be. And one could be deeper than the other. But it's all good. So there's an ink. Glad I put that extra glue in there around those, that edge, crumbs out there, right, so, mm, where's the middle, let's just grab the ruler, not, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be precise, I just want roughly, it's almost 8 inches, so if we go on that line, it's close enough. So I'm just going to keep my thumb there. Glue at the top, glue at the bottom. And then I'm going to glue either side of that line. Here we go, we've created two more pockets. Or side tucks, whatever you want to call them. So we can pop a smaller journal cards or tags in both of those. Super fun. I think that's lovely. I think I might add something to that. So shall we do that while we're here before I let you go? No. Um... That's some words here that's nice I like that and what else have we got floating around here got more butterflies got some really love lovely decorative pieces like this in the kit What I'm thinking is that because we've got two pockets, we need two. We could go a butterfly at the top instead. Okay, I'm going to commit. Because I need to let you people on with your day. I'm going to just tear off those straight edges. So I hope you've been able to craft along with me or do something creative as you listened and watched. Just going to pop that there. Um, yes, I will use glue stick. Gosh, I am so hungry. That's ridiculous. I had a reasonable lunch. I don't know why I'm so hungry. I made meatballs. Um, on sweet potato noodles for tea last night and that's what we both had for lunch today as well we had leftovers it is coming up to my snack time I I can't eat a lot at once so I do need an afternoon snack but that's like half an hour away before I'm due for a snack so maybe I just haven't had enough to drink 
that's probably it actually I don't think I've had a drink this entire video but we're almost at an end so let's just get done and then I can have a drink I'm trying to be speedy. Right, I haven't actually decided whether I want the butterfly or not. Um, <laughs> no, we don't want flower and flower. Uh, there's also these other square words, which... go this flower and this flower okay I'm just like laboring the point now maybe it's the composition maybe I need to switch the side yep switch the side works for me glad I didn't glue this down because I would have been stuck right last thing going on and then it's done the video I mean not the journal journal still got quite a long way to go There's a little bit of glue on that, but it will dry fine. Okay, so there we go, my friends. We did a number of pockets, and we've got a number of things to make to go into the pockets, haven't we? But that's fun. I'm really happy with how it's coming along. I think it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Making progress, and that's a happy thing. Okay, time I let you go. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great weekend and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.